Hey everyone, this is Or from Wicked Cushions and today I'm going to do another SteelSeries Arctis 7 video and in this video I'm going to answer some of the common questions that I've seen on Google. You can see the questions scrolling on the screen right now. If you have any more questions, don't hesitate to ask us in the comment section and we might do a video on them as well. Now, it will really, really help me if you click the like button right now to tickle the algorithm just a little bit and let's get on to the video. All right, so let's start with the first question, which is very, very popular. Does the Arctis 7 wireless have RGB lights? And if you've seen our Arctis 7 wireless review, you know how sensitive I am about this because I love RGB lights. And the answer is no. The only Arctis headphones that have RGB lights are the Arctis 5, Arctis Pro, and Arctis Pro Game Deck. Basically, if your Arctis are wireless, they don't have RGB lights. They did that in order to save battery life, but who the hell needs battery life when you have RGB lights? I never understand that. So the second question that I've seen is how do I adjust my Arctis 7 headphones? Now I'm not sure if the people asking this are talking about physically adjusting it or adjusting the software in them, which you can also do. So I'm going to answer both of them. So to adjust the headband, it's quite a unique headband. No one else uses this kind of feature with the ski mask headband adjuster. So basically you have Velcro on the side. If you want to make it tighter, if you have a smaller head, you basically are going to take it and just pull it a little bit and just adjust it in here. If you want to make it looser, it's pretty straightforward. Just take it off and adjust it to have a little bit more slack in it. The second part is how do I adjust the actual, let's say the sound and the mic settings and all of the software that's inside of the headphones. For this, you will need the SteelSeries Engine 3 software, which we linked it down below. And we also made a video that will show you how to play around with that software. And we're going to link this down below as well. So the third question is how do I charge my SteelSeries Arctis 7 and how do I know how much battery do I have left? So charging the Arctis 7 is pretty simple. You have a USB charging port, connect it, and then either connect it to your computer with the USB hub or to a plug in your wall with an adapter. However, if you wanna know how much battery you have, there's two ways to find out. So the first way to find out how much battery you have left in your Arctis 7 is plugging them into your computer and opening up SteelSeries Engine 3 software. Now this is the only way that I'll recommend because the second way I'm about to explain to you can get quite buggy sometimes. So the second way to find out how much battery life you have is that if you look at the power button, when it's green, you have between 50 to 100% battery. When it's yellow, you have between 50 to 20% battery. And when it goes red, you have between 20 to 0% battery. Now this can get quite buggy sometimes because we've seen many reports online of people fully charging their headphones and the power button still stays red, yellow, or for that matter, just blinks. So I would really, really recommend that you just use SteelSeries Engine 3 to realize how much battery you have. To fully charge our Arctis 7 wireless, plan for at least five to six hours of them being plugged into the USB or the wall. By the way, if you've been looking at the Arctis 7 for the entire video and you've been asking yourself, how are they so damn sexy? Well, the answer is, this is thanks to our upgraded Red Camo Gaming ear pads, which we are giving away for 30% off with a coupon. Simply click the link right here and grab your ear pads and try them out. If you have any more questions about the Arctis 7 or any questions at all, don't hesitate to comment down below in the comment section or contact us with the email that is in the description. Please like this video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos like this every month.